Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be talking about the report templates. So how you can create the report templates in Power BI Desktop. Now, what is a report template and how it helps you? So the report template in uh, simple terms, it is a designed report without data. So how you can use that and streamline your work? So when you design the report, uh, you follow the certain color coding, certain fonts according to the company logo colors. In that case, then other teams or their team members, when they design the report, they also follow the same color coding theme, etc. In that case, it will be handy that if there is only one template following all the rules and color coding and then other people, they just use that template and they do not need to spend time on designing that template. And this kind of template, it can also hand over to the people or the colleagues in other countries or other regions. And they can plug their data in the report template and they can create easy report. So that is the report template. Now I'm going to open up the Power BI desktop and we'll walk you through step by step that how you can create it and how you can use it. But before that, if you are first time here on my channel and you didn't subscribe my channel yet, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I upload the Power BI videos regularly on this channel. Okay, so let's get started. So here I am in Power BI desktop and I have a report which has uh, two pages and one hidden page that I use it for the drill through page. So I wanted to create the template and hand it over to my colleague in Euro where they have uh, similar data files except the region names and so they don't need to design their report again. So let's see how we can do it. So now to create the template, first go to the file and click on export. And then here you will find Power BI template. So click on that and rename it and click OK and save it. Now I'm going to close this file. Now let's go back to the Power BI and open up the sales template. So now this is a template file. Now we need to create the parameter for the data file path so that when we hand over to someone, they can plug in the data from their data file. So let's do that. I'm going to click on this transform data from the home page and transform data. And now Power Query opened up. Now let's create the parameter. So for that, from the Home tab, let's click on this Manage Parameter and then New Parameter. And then give a parameter name. I'm going to give it a file path. And then leave required type and suggested values as it is. Now I need to give a file path here, which I forgot to copy. So let's just type in C and then click OK. We will edit it later on. Now let's copy the path. Now I'm going to go back to manage parameters and edit parameters. So here I can give my file path and click OK. So now we have this file path parameter with the current file location and so we can see the data. Now, now on each file source, we need to replace the file path with the parameter. For that, select a query and click on the source. And here on the path, let's click on this drop down menu and select a parameter instead of the text. And the parameter we only have is file path, so it's already selected. So let's click on OK. And now we have this file on the parameter which has a file path. Now this template has many queries, so we need to change file path to the parameter on each file. 
So now I have each file set up using this parameter file path. Now let's click on this close and apply. And now the data loaded back to the template with the file path parameter. Now let's save and close this file. Now here I am in Power BI and I am going to open up the blank report file. So here is the blank report file. Now go to the file and then import instead open. Let's click on import and then go to the Power BI template and then open the template. Now this way it will ask you the file path. So I have another path. Let me open up the folder. So now I have a different data file and that data file has a Europe data. The previous one we had a North America sales data and now I want this data to plug in. So let's click on this properties and get the path and I'm going to give this path. So here you can see our old file path is North America sales data and now I'm going to paste the Europe data. So I'm trying to say here that I'm using a similar file, similar sales data for the Europe region. So I'm going to click on load and now the file is loaded and you can see here we have now Europe data which has a France and Germany in this data. We used to have a Canada and US data. So guys this way you can use the template and plug in the different data so you do not need to uh, put it efforts to design the report again and your colleague in other part of the world they can use the same template if you like the content of the video then please comment like share and subscribe my channel and thank you for watching